Welcome to part 5 of the Contact 3 video tutorials. In previous videos, we've seen some of the features that make Contact one of the most powerful instruments available. In this tutorial, we will show some of the different ways that Contact can display information in order to make editing a more intuitive process. Sometimes when working with multiple instruments in one instance of Contact, especially when one of them is in edit mode, it can become difficult to keep track of the big picture. How many instruments are currently loaded and how can you jump between them? Enter the Instrument Navigator. This is a condensed overview of all the instruments currently loaded into Contact. By selecting each one by name, you can not only jump between different instruments in the Contact rack, but you can do so without leaving edit mode. Contact will even try to keep the same sections of each instrument visible so that you can compare similar parameters in different instruments. If you click once on an instrument that's already selected, it will take the instrument out of edit mode altogether. By the way, the instrument navigator stays visible even if you switch between the file, database, or monitor tab. Speaking of the monitor tab, this is one of Contact 3's most handy new features. When engaged in serious editing, the relationship between sample groups, zones, and individual modules parameters can sometimes become unclear. The monitor makes this easier by providing you an abstract overview of all these different components at once. On the Groups tab, you can see all groups in the instrument, and even which ones are currently selected for editing. You can also directly change the edit status of various groups by selecting them, and can even change the names of groups by double-clicking on them and typing a new name. Of particular use is the context menu containing group edit operations that is available by right-clicking. It is in fact the same context menu available within the group editor itself. To help with extremely complex instruments, the list of groups can be filtered based on search criteria. All these features keep you from having to enter the group editor for common edit operations. The Zones tab works in a similar way. Here you will find all the sample zones in your instrument, with the same context menu editing ability. You also have the same quick search functionality. To round out the monitor's handy editing features, there is also the Parameter tab. When on this page, touching any knob in an instrument will display the value of that parameter for all groups in the instrument. This makes comparing the value across multiple groups very simple. If you're not currently editing an instrument, it will show you the value of that parameter for every instrument in contact. This makes tracking down things like volume anomalies a rather painless process. We've spent some time making Contact 3 a very easy sampler to program, and we hope you find the new view features useful.